I feel like Mary Poppins every time I ride a bike in heels. Do, 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 Oh, actually, that's the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Humans on E-Bikes with my sister Greta. We're in Canberra. We've also got my brother, Edward, who's going to be um, on the non-e-bike version. And this is Greta's first ride to work. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. So she's going to lead the way. Oh, the other thing as well, what about magpies? Oh, they just come. Oh gosh. If they come, they come. If they come, they come. Okay, woo! Ah. Oh. Do you want that seat a bit higher or something? Nah, it's good. I'm wearing my whole work outfit today. My work shoes. So this should be good. Oh, you can imagine some magpies up to you, hey. Oh, here comes on. Oh no, Rosella. <laughs> Oh, don't put the swearing in there. Oh. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah. So I live about seven kilometers away from work. And every day I, um, oh, sorry, I drive in. Yeah. And there's no parking around um, where I work. Well, free parking. Mm. So it's just two hour parking. No. And I just move my car every two hours. Or, like, sometimes I just take the risk as well. If I don't want to waste time, see? <gasps> Mate, I nearly got us. So why don't you get the bus or train or a tram or something like that? Um, I used to get the bus, but then once I got the light rail, um, the, they changed all the routes for the bus. Right. And so it takes me 55 minutes to get door to door, from door to door. Oh, that's not good. Seven kilometers. It just doesn't make any sense. How do I get more pressure behind the feet? Oh, six, that's better. Oh, that's better. I was like, felt like I was pedaling on myself. Woo! <laughs> So this is really easy. I'm not, I haven't even broken a sweat yet. And I'm wearing my heels because I thought I'd be back to my French blood and I'm wearing my heels. Can you direct us? I don't know where we're going. I'm very good at this one-handed balance. Woo! And I can do it as I'm turning as well. La, 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 la. The last time I went on a road bike, on a road bike, on an electric bike, was with my sister in Copenhagen. Because she was living there for a bit. Left here. I can do my left hand as well. La, 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 la. Thank you. It's one of my many skills. Oh, <gasps> my cry. Um, and that was fun in Copenhagen. Oh, oh, man with the car. <laughs> Look, I lost my feet. <laughs> Gosh, it's a good feeling being on a bike. Woo! Oh, see you girls. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I was on a bike last night at the gym. I think my quads are already warmed up. The shoulder. Do you want a bike where you can put all your bits and bobs in it, like to have the panniers and to have the so you can put your yoga mat and your my sauna gear? So this is where they do Floriade, Thomas. Yeah, we used to come here as a kid. One of Canberra's um, great events. And now we'll go around the lake, which will be nice. When you ride a bike, you can ride around the lake like this and. You're not just ticking off the speed of your commute, you're getting in a bit of a mental break. A middle, yeah, a bit of a mental break. I was talking to Louise, so Louise is our sister and she rides her electric bike to and from work. She doesn't have a car, she lives in the city, in Sydney. Um, and she was saying that once a week she treats herself to listening to a podcast or something like that on the way home when she's riding her bike. And Straight away I said, no, 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 like you can't do that because you're switching your senses off to, to what's around you. And Thomas said, it's, 
it's just like being in the car with a radio. But then Louise said, no, it's more that it's my brain switch off time. Yeah. It's, it's the 20 minutes that I get. Oh my gosh, that's all. Um, what's, a, what's a baby swan? A swan limb. A swan limb. Oh no. Yeah, so Louise said that it was more of a, a brain switch off. I'm actually seeing a lot of electric bikes. Oh, this is quite relaxing, isn't it? It is. Oop. Quack, quack, quack. When was your first bike ride as a kid? My first bike memories are at Pearl Beach on our family holidays. Yeah. And growing up, Thomas and Edward would always zip around on their bikes everywhere. And Louise had this scooter. <laughs> the scooter. And, um, and I just remember having this like pink bike with like the classic streamers and the little carrier at the back for the little baby, my little doll, and going down to the corner shop and like getting treats, stealing money from the parents and, and riding down. But also just like the classic um, training wheels. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the where noise you're just of the like training wheels. Lean on one side, where you're <laughs> riding like... on one side, and then you go to the other side. <laughs> oh gosh! But when I was living on campus at the ANU, I would ride my bike everywhere because for yeah. the first few years I didn't have a car, and your kind of your world is focused on campus and in the city. You, you never yeah. did anything else outside. But then I got a car for my 21st birthday. Um, and that's when I could start to do things like my physical culture and, um, you know, driving around and doing different things and seeing Canberra. Because for the first two years being in Canberra, I just thought it was like the uni really? campus and yeah. city. I didn't think that there was anything else outside. Isn't that weird? And you do, like your fitness, you don't really need to ride a bike because you've got your busy, you go skiing all the time. Yeah, I like to ski in the winter, I do physical culture, physi, which is competitive dance, um, and that keeps me strong and, and flexible and keeps my balance, helps me work for my balance. And then, um, and then I also love going to the gym. Yeah. I'm a big sauna lover. I'm trying to convince dad to get a, to get a sauna. Oh, I keep losing my train of thought because it's so nice. It's like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> so I think one thing we've, I'm experiencing on this ride, yeah, is that it doesn't really feel like the most efficient way. <laughs> like, um, no, and I think, like I Edward think, just said, oh, we should go right back there, and then there's a better bike path. Yeah, I think, I think the big thing is that I've never done this before. So, um, and that's the thing with like starting a new, um, a new thing. Like if I was to ride my bike, which I want to start doing now that it's getting warmer, um, it does take a little while to find your routine and, and how you like to do it. And then I think that's what makes the morning commute so special because it's your routine and how you do it and how you, um, what coffee shop you go to on the way to work or um, you know what you see when you ride past whatever on your way to work it's yours and I think that's what makes it so special when you're sitting in a car and you're just you know sitting in a car with all these other people listening to the radio I'm like how do you feel invigorated <laughs> okay so now we're getting into the working areas. We're going past Parliament House. So we're in forest right now. Now we're going past the National Press Club. We're so we're turning right at the second lights. Okay. And then that into Elliston building to the left of that, down that street. So right now we're looking directly at Parliament House. So we're super close. And this is the building here. Whoop. And just like that, 
have arrived.